Again, these are in no particular order. Extremely tough, runs extremely well, came to camp last year, watched him play, Southeastern High School. Uh, guy with a great motor. When you watch his highlight film, uh, he's banging people. Um, talented player, hits with power, extremely quick, great ball skills, uh, runs very effectively. Uh, highly recruited guy and uh, should be an outstanding player for us early in his career here. Uh, rehabbing a knee injury, but uh, will be an outstanding player and he's, he will be full go here later this spring. Uh, but we're extremely excited about getting another great player from Southeastern High School down in Detroit. And uh, uh, just uh, has a nose for the football, as best that I can say it. Darian Harris from DeMatha Catholic. Bill McGregor is the coach, longtime coach at DeMatha. And I think DeMatha plays um, probably in the finest league and maybe one of the finest programs in the whole mid Atlantic area, Baltimore, DC, um, and Northern Virginia. Darian is extremely quick, made a commitment here this summer on his visit up uh, after coming on a visit up here unofficially. Was not in camp, but we watched him play personally. Uh, very active, very uh, explosive, as all of our other players are. Uh, played tailback as well for that football team and uh, ran for about 800 yards as well. Uh, great skill, outstanding maturity as a young person, knows what he wants, knows what he wants to do, and has a, uh, has a feeling about commitment and about when to do things. And, uh, has outstanding leadership skills, I think, in many respects. So um, it would be very, very um, exciting to have him here. Taiwan Jones. Taiwan from Anchor Bay. Um, he put on Taiwan's recruiting or his highlight video. You see him play a multitude of positions, from wide receiver to corner to, to tailback to um, linebacker to, uh, to a little bit, bit even of quarterback. So outstanding athlete. Had 37 points last night. Um, very, very fluid. Very fluid player, great ball skills, will play a lot of positions. We'll bring him here as an outside linebacker. Again, one of the early commits for us was in camp, saw him play all those different things. But uh, um, many of these players and their families, uh, as I told him today, I appreciate their trust in us as people, especially to Juan, as um, I talked to his mother last spring for a long time. And she put her trust in us at a very early time. And uh, I think that's important because that's what they're doing. They're putting their trust in people for the next four or five years. But he will be an outstanding player here. Very, will have a very exciting career. LT Thomas, Lawrence is probably one of the most highly recruited players in the Midwest. Number one player in Michigan this past year. Very tough, plays multitude of positions. He's played linebacker certainly, but he shows up at defensive end. Uh, he shows up at tight end, uh, great ball skills. He's a thumper type backer, plays downhill. Um, He's a guy like Percy Snow. When you look at him, he's a thumper. Runs very effectively. Um, he's got an outstanding uh, future ahead of him and uh, very bright future, I guess I would say. And uh, he's everything you want as a player. And I want to pass on our regards to he and his family right now as his grandfather passed um, recently. So I just want to add that into this. Um, but a uh, great young man and he will, uh, he will be a a great player for us and a great person as well. Uh, as far as uh, Max Connor Cooks comes from uh, Walsh Jesuit, where Jerry Reardon is the coach, has been coaching there for 30 plus years, has won a multitude of state championships, etc. Walsh Jesuit. Um, so it comes from an outstanding program that uh, is very, very structured. Had him in camp, watched him play in games, uh, has great uh, ability to run the football so he's, he can go with the ball and get out of trouble. He's got a great arm, makes great decisions. And has great leadership skills. I think that'll serve him well as a as a quarterback in this system here. Excellent student, and uh, he'll be right in the thick of things as he'll come in here as a as the third quarterback when he arrives in camp. So I'm very very excited about Connor and what he brings to the table. And uh, about six three two oh five right now. So he's a he's a big guy, um, and he'll continue to get uh, to improve uh, physically. Paul Lang six five two thirty five. Another guy came to camp, another guy we watched play. Very good program in Mount Lebanon, historically. Um, great hands, very fluid, very good blocker, extremely tough. Guy that only caught about five passes because they're a run-dominated football team his junior year. But uh, when you watch him catch on the film uh, and do the things that he did in camp, I mean, it was no, he was a no-brainer. Um, he scored over 1,000 points in his basketball career. 
Uh, last year, I think they were the number 24 basketball program in the country. Um, as it started there, it is a big school division um, in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, and he's started on that basketball team for four straight years now. So uh, uh, very, very fluid player, very athletic on the basketball court. Uh, so we're very, very excited about Paul and his family joining us and uh, another great family as well. Wide receiver, 